happy sweet Friday from RES Luxury Group. It's Kristen and Ruth, where we give you white glove service, red carpet treatment. It's all in the name. We are not the same. Thanks, Kristen. So we are here at the Crystal River Mall. If you have not been here in a while, the mall just recently had extensive renovations done. So there are, it's, a, it's really improved. There's a lot of really great shops out here, so you really need to come check it out. It's cool that we have a mall in Crystal River. So let's get more people out here shopping and keeping it uh, going, going strong. Going to the movies. The movies too, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna do our market update today. But before we get to that, just a quick reminder, today we are excited because we're doing our Dream Home Sweet Stakes giveaway drawing. And so you need to tune back in a little bit later on today. We'll be having that drawing. And tell us a little bit about the house, Kristen. Well, you'll have to stay tuned later, but it is a brand new construction home, beautiful landscaping. I'm not gonna say much more, but we'll be meeting with the builder later. How many bedrooms, how many bathrooms? Two bedrooms, two just, baths. Just two bedrooms. You know, a lot of my buyers are looking for three bedrooms, Kristen. I realize that, but you know, we fine tune this one for someone that was downsizing. Is there an office? You're gonna have to wait till later. We're gonna let we're gonna let the architect and builder explain it all. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. All right, so let's get down to business. We want to talk about our market update. So I wanted to let everybody know, I just uh, listened to a call recently by Keeping Current Matters. And one of the things we try to do is we, we personally run reports every month to stay on top of what our markets are looking like. And Kristen and I will talk together to compare. She's got the Marion side of things. I've got Citrus County. But Keeping Current Man Matters is a great organization that keeps us up to date on the national real estate. Uh, market what things are looking like and they um, have a number of real estate economists and analysts that they listen to and they compile the information and let us know what is expected on the horizon what the predictions are so I know right now I hear a lot of chatter about hey is there gonna be a market crash we've had a really good market for a while what's what's coming and certainly we're always telling our sellers and our customers that we are in a shifting market which just brings new opportunities and you just have to be ready for new strategies it's not a bad thing uh, but in addition to that to ease people's minds I'm happy to report that According to the analysts um, that Keeping Current Matters have been watching and following, they are predicting that 2019 is actually going to be a stronger real estate market than 2018 and even than 2017 was. So that's really, really positive. And in addition to that, the economic slowdown that is going to be coming, and it's always hard to predict when it will come, they're predicting that that will be at the end of 2020. So we have a little time before that happens. So one of the things that you know I want to express is if you're if you're on the fence, if you've been thinking about selling, now is a great time to get serious about that. Maybe have us come out and give you a market analysis, let you know what your home will sell for because it's better to do it sooner than wait until that slowdown comes and there's more and more pressure put on price. Agreed, and I think that brings us into our um, market overview because you know expiring homes. What do we specialize in? Homes that didn't sell the first time. Right. So if your house is going to be expiring, please think about us and listen to our spiel because we can do a lot of good for sellers that just can't seem to get their home sold. Yes, yes, new, different strategies, different uh, way of looking at it. Doesn't mean that the realtor you had it the first time was bad or did anything wrong. It's just sometimes it's good to take a new approach and have somebody with you know, kind of a, a fresh ideas. Um, and lots of humor. Tackle the job. <laughs> so um, every month, like I said, we do the market overviews. And what we're going to start doing, just like we're doing today, is the first vlog of every month, we're going to talk about how things look and what the changes have been. And this is really important in shifting market because as things shift, we are watching the indicators that tell us where are we out, where are we at in the shift. So as an example, looking uh, for the month of March, I was surprised to see that inventory levels really stayed pretty low, which is right. what you found as well. Right. Um, so one of the things that has happened in my local market is in the last two weeks, there's been a, a really uh, big pickup in buying. There have been a lot of homes going pending very quickly. Have you had the same 
kind of thing in Marion? Um, yes, yes. I think that we're, we're in a good place to sell, definitely. My prediction for this summer is I think it's going to be a good summer for home sales. I hope you're right. That'll be good. Uh, well, one of the things I was thinking about as I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, inventory levels didn't increase for the most part across the board over the month of March. Um, but buying activity had a pickup, an increase. So that makes sense. It, I don't think anything's changed as far as what we've been seeing. It's just the dynamic between buyers and sellers. So right. from the month of March, that was a very positive thing with the balance. Right. Um, but the other thing is just watching, that's interesting, watching days on the market. We're seeing those very um, gradually increasing. And so um, that's something that is also <laughs> Uh, an expectation as you shift right. and when we talk about shifting for those of you that uh, maybe are saying what, what is, what's the shift they're talking about we've been in a seller's market uh, right. for a good while and now we're seeing inventory levels increasing days on market increasing pressure more pressure being put on price downward pressure on price and buying activity is not keeping pace with that so if we look at the months of supply across the different uh, price categories we see that a lot of them are at the six months or above mark which means that it's no longer a seller's market at six months it's a balanced market and as you go above six months it becomes a buyer's market so we're watching these numbers so that we can tell you the customers what things are looking like in the real estate market from month to month and I think, um, at least in my market, the list to sales ratio was pretty good. Okay. I think it's it's looking good for um, buyers and sellers. So sellers are getting good prices yeah. for what they're asking, so that's really good. Um, so anyway, I wanted to also mention, like we've said before, if anybody has any questions for us, please do not hesitate to... Uh, type in your questions um, on the video. We'll be happy to answer questions next week when we're back. And um, stay tuned for the drawing here a little bit later on today. That's right. There's going to be a very happy person. Yes.